Hi everyone. In this video, we discuss how to execute Java program. Before starts today's session, let us try to recall what have we discussed in our previous video. How to download Java? What is JDK? How do we check if Java is installed in the system? How to set the path in Java? Why do we set the path? Can we execute Java program without setting the path? After watching this video, you will be able to know what are the steps do we need to follow to execute Java program? What is the syntax to compile and execute the Java program? Can we execute a program without main method? Why main method should be public, static and void? What are system out and print line or print align? Now see first, what are the steps we need to follow to execute the Java program. First, we need to write the source code, nothing but we need to develop the code that is called generally source code. To develop the source code or to write this code, you can use any text editor. Second step, compile. After writing the source code, you need to compile it because we write the code in the high level language. Machine cannot understand that high level code. That is the reason we need to translate it into machine understandable format. For the compilation, we use the syntax java c space file name dot java. Third step is run the program or execute the program. So syntax to run the program is java space file name. These are the three main steps we need to follow. Let us discuss about these three steps in detail one by one. First one is source code. You need to develop the code first. To write the code, you need to open any text editor like notepad, wordpad, etc. as we discussed. Write the code in that file. So here I am taking this program, hello world program. You must to save this code with a Java extension. It is compulsory. Whenever you save your file with a Java extension, then only that file can be treated as Java file. Otherwise, it can be treated as normal text file. And third point is while you are saving your file, that file name must be same as your class name in which class you have written the main function. This is very, very important point. So you must save this like hello world.java because the class name is hello world in which class you have written the main method. Next step is compile. For the compilation, the syntax is java c space file name dot java. Here java c means java compiler. In our example, we saved our file with the name hello world.java. So we need to type the command java c space hello world.java for the compilation. To run that code, the syntax is java space file name. Here no need to write dot java again after the file name. In our example, the command we need to use is java space hello world because our file name is hello world. Let us try to analyze what are the words we are using in our code. First we use the word class. Class is a keyword in the java that is used to declare the class. What is class and what is the importance of the class will be covered in the coming sessions. And to create the class, the syntax is class is a keyword space. You must write the class name. Open the braces. Within that, you must write the statement or statements. Then close the black. Next, we have written in our code public static void main string args. Why should we write main method in our Java program? When you are trying to execute your program, JVM is the responsible to execute the Java programs. JVM stands for Java Virtual Machine. JVM starts the execution of Java program with main method only. If you are not writing the main method in your Java program, JVM cannot start the execution of your program. So you must write the main if you want to execute the program. A program cannot execute it without main method and you are not allowed to write multiple main method. If you write more than one main method in a single program, the JVM can be confused where to start the execution. 
So you must write a single main method and that is compulsory to write the main method in the Java program. Next public main method must be public static and white and coming to the public public is an access modifier complete details about the public will be covered in a special topic access modifiers if the jvm wants to access this main method access modifier of the main should be public that is the reason we must write public for the main method next why we need to write static Static is keyword in the Java. If we declare any method as a static, it is known as static method. So here main is the static method and the property of the static method is it can be called and executed without creating the objects. Generally, if you want to execute any method, you must create the object to that class in which class you have written that method. We are calling the main method without using the object. So JVM calls the main method with a class name. That's why when we run the program, we use the syntax Java space class name. Coming to the void, any method may or may not return any value. If a method is not returning any value, we should write the return type of that method is void type. Main is not returning any value. So main return type must be void. Next, what is string args here? So whatever we are writing within the parenthesis after the method, generally that is called an argument. String args is an argument of main method. String is data type. In this case, argument is an array. We can observe these square brackets that indicates it is an array. This is used to receive the string values when we are using the topic comma inline arguments. Then we have written a statement system dot out dot println and within the parenthesis within the double quotes a text whatever the text you write here that will be printed as the output of the program system dot out dot println is used to print something here println is a method of print stream class if you want to call println method you must use the object of print stream class that is the reason we are using a system class when you write System dot out that gives an object of the print stream class. With help of that, we can call the println method. Then this entire statement can be used to print some text or any value of the variable on the monitor. Now let us execute the program. As we discussed, first step is create the text file. So I am creating the text file here, new and text document. Open it and write the code. So I am using the same code what we discussed and save it, click on file, click on save as and select the location where you want to save. I want to save this file in the local disk D and within that I have created a folder Java. Within that Java folder, I want to save this file. You need to give the file name and you must remember, you must give the file name as your class name or class name is hello world dot java is compulsory come to here save as type click here select all files after that click on save button now your file is saved you can observe hello world dot java this is java file now second step is compile for the compilation you must to open command prompt first then within the search box type cmd this is a command line environment I saved my file in the local disk D. You must change this current path to your location. For that, you need to type drive name and colon symbol, press enter. Now we are at local disk D. Within the drive, I saved the file in Java. So change the directory, you must use the command cd. cd space your folder name, my folder name is Java. Then now observe, we are at D drive and Java. This is the location where we saved the file. Now you can start the compilation. Java C space. Hello world dot Java. Press enter. So here I am not getting any errors. So it is compiled successfully. Now to run the program. Java space. Class name or file name. Both are same. Hello world. No need to use Java here. Then press enter. So this is the output of our program what we have written in the 
output statement system dot out dot print line welcome to java program that will be printed as output of this program now check your knowledge what you learned from this video what are the steps do we need to follow to execute java program what is the syntax to compile and execute java program can we execute a program without main why main should be public static and void what are system out and print line if this video is useful to you subscribe the channel like and share it thank you